guys it's denim time now this is stressful holy moly so this is probably the messiest section of my wardrobe and i think it's because i go in and out of it all the time and then can't find anything i need and I'm in a rush and shove everything back so it's just bad oh my gosh so the goal of this today is to have everything in neat piles of like whether I'm going to do it in fits or in washers, we'll see. There is a lot in here so I'm going to try and go as quickly as possible and oh my Christ um, and yeah get through as many as I can now. I have lost weight recently, well in the past like I don't know six months probably so a lot of these aren't going to fit so I'm actually expecting to get rid of quite a few pairs of jeans which I'm sure you will agree is necessary because this is ridiculous so I'm hoping this is going to make quite a significant difference let's get going the first pair are a new pair I need to I need to be further back don't I let's let's arrange this so you can see all of me so this pair I bought yesterday now like I said a lot of my jeans don't fit at the moment so I had went and bought two new pairs this is one of them and they're from weekday it's the weekday voyage jeans so I've gone for a waist 25 whereas I think the ones I have already are a waist 27 and um, so yeah these are waist 25 like 30 and they're already a style of jeans that I know I love and have worn so 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 much so yeah, I bought these in another pair from weekday. Um, so obviously these are definitely going to the keep pile. And I'm just going to have to get cracking with this, aren't I? Right, I'm starting with a pair I know I'm going to want to keep. These are from Martin Rose. I bought these last winter. They're like my really big, long, they look like workman's jeans. And I still absolutely love these. They have the best little logo on them just here and as you can see it's super super high waisted they're a tiny bit big but still I love the fit of them um, and I wear these more in the summer than the winter because I like them with sandals and like heeled sandals and things these are probably one of the most expensive pairs of jeans that I have um, and I haven't regretted buying them one bit so these are going on the keep pile I'm thinking I'm going to have to do this in categories of wash so this is a mid wash next up here i have some from urban outfitters these are bdg waist 26 and um, i think these are classes the mum jeans from bdg and they're quite cropped and then quite similar as you're going to see to the new pair that i bought from a weekday yesterday these do still fit really nicely though um, but i'm not going to keep these because they're similar to the weekday ones that i bought and the weekday ones are a thicker denim which you guys know I prefer, like I love a really heavy stiff denim. So these are going to go onto the see you later pile. Here we have, oh, these are the weekday voyage ones, the other ones I had. Oh yeah, they're the waist 26, not 27. Um, I will still keep these because I'll probably end up putting back on some weight at some point. Um, and I absolutely love these jeans. Weekday Voyage, I have to say, is probably one of my most recommended high street denim. Um, obviously, these are a slightly darker wash than the ones I just showed you, and they're super straight over the hips. And um, like you can see, this is a tiny bit big for me, but still wearable. I have still been wearing them, um, and like I just said, I'll probably gain weight again at some point. So these, I think, are the weight of the leg 32, whereas the new ones I have... Oh, no, these are leg 30 as well. That's interesting, I swear these feel a touch longer than the new ones that I've got, so maybe definitely go and try them on for leg sizes, but Weekday Voyage, one of my most recommended jeans, for sure, from the high street. I think Weekday and And Other Stories would be my most recommended high street brand for denim as well. I think I'm going to keep pile of the mid-wash denim. Here we have some And Other Stories ones. These are always 26. Six. And the stories I find their leg length quite short. So if you were smaller than me, I'm about five foot eight, then you'll get on really well. Like my friend Brittany Bathgate, she wears a lot of their denim and it looks so different on her to me because she's smaller. Um, so the length is just so much better. These fit really, really nice though, and I really like this wash as well. So they're kind of slightly skinnier 
than the weekday voyage ones um and a touch shorter as well but i feel like because they're skinny they do offer a bit of a different styling and they fit quite nicely they're slightly lower rise than sometimes what i go for but i still class these mid to high rise these are a waist 26 which i always am in under the stories i'm gonna keep these i like these ones do we think also on the mid wash pile yeah it's not a light wash is it mid wash pile okay i've got four items so far here these are from bdg gosh i've had these for years at the axle and yeah they've got a hole in them i knew they did i don't know why i've kept them they've got a hole in them i remember getting it stuck on um a lock on a bathroom door you know like the, the sticky out bit and it just ripped so these these will have to go because they have a hole in them but um i used to always 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 wear and love these jeans they still fit really well actually and i still do really really like them but i think we can agree i have enough jeans to warrant not keeping the ones with holes in so these we can go here we have oh these are the totem twisted seam jeans these are a bit big but i really like them so I'm, i already know i'm going to keep these um and i would they sent them to me but i would get these again in a small size they just have i'm going to sort of struggle to show you i don't know how well you can see it but the seam deliberately goes down at an angle a tiny bit it's just a really nice detail they are cropped on me so again they tend to be more of a summer jean i don't like it when my boots come up too short against my jeans so i've been wearing like longer leg ones throughout the winter so that the leg of the jean sits over the top of the boots um but yeah these are good in the summer they're also quite a lot softer than the denim i normally go for um so they're kind of comfortable and better for summer because they're more lightweight but like i said already i do like the majority of my denim collection to be quite a heavy denim rouge oh these are i was really rude about these when i first got them they're always 27 and they're too big really um but i've worn them a lot and now would really recommend them and basically going through this video jeans i think is going to be why i struggle to get rid of the most because even though they can be so similar so like with the jumpers it was easy for me to like differentiate what styling options one would give me that, I, that another one wouldn't but with denim i find the smallest detail of difference really change like what kind of shoes i want to wear with them what length jacket i'd want to wear so these are a really similar fit to the weekday voyage ones they're just slightly skinnier through the leg the weekday voyage is so straight like they almost look slightly flared at the bottom even though they're not um, whereas these are the tiniest bit skinnier but as you can see they have quite a lot of extra material here like it just looks like quite a bit so like i said i was quite rude about these when i first got them but i've gone on to wear them a lot and i think i've washed them once and they've been absolutely fine so i would recommend them but i would say maybe go down a size to what you normally are because of this extra space here which is what sometimes makes me not want to wear them but i have worn these so much more than i anticipated when they arrived they were sent to me and I, when i tried them on i really thought i'm never going to wear these i'm not impressed but i've ended up wearing them quite a bit so i would recommend them and i would also spend my own money on them but get the size down um so i'm going to keep these as well i know they're so similar to the weekday voyage but i just know that i will end up wearing them both and have already been wearing them both right so let's move on to some levi's these are which ones are these i think these are vintage 501s that i bought in yes i know all of them from how they fit i got these in a vintage shop in amsterdam in the summer called episode it's a really good vintage shop and they just they're like my ultimate dad jeans they fit so 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 well through the waist and over the bum and things and then are so nice and baggy and long and manly through the leg I think these are probably my best fitting 501s to find my tip for 501s like i'm not even going to tell you the sizes of them all because they are so different you just have to go and try them on like some of them i've got are a waist 31 some are a waist 27 the sizing is so different depending what year you're buying from and everything like that so you really do need to just go and try them on um and these are these weren't super expensive i think they were just a really 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 good find um the light wash and love and 501s just still are the ultimate G in my opinion there's just nothing that compares to the fit and the feel and 
everything they last a lifetime so these are a definite keeper and these commence the light wash pile okay there we go what have we got here these are a oh, weekday voyage again but i know i'm not going to keep these because they're so short what waist size are these 26 26 i think i got these off um zolando and i don't think they had the leg length written on it so that's why i ended up with something so short um, and that's really stopped me from wearing them and i think when you can see with this how they look well these actually look like they are fully flared whereas the longer ones don't have that look at all um, so yeah i've barely worn these because of how short they are it's just I think because I'm long-legged, it just looks like they're too small as opposed to like they're meant to be cropped. So these can go. Stick with black denim for a bit. These are the BDG Axle again, but in, yes they are. Weighs 26, like 32, and in washed black. I've worn these loads. I wore these loads last winter, and they're really flattering over the bum, these jeans. Gosh, these still fit really nicely, actually. Um, I really do like these they're like a nice skinniness I've been wearing like I said longer like jeans we're going to get to the wash black jeans I've been wearing the most recently really soon um, I think I'll keep these because I would like a longer like wash black and a slightly cropped wash black and I prefer the slightly cropped in a skinnier leg as opposed to the weekday voyage ones that we just tried on and these do still fit really really well so these I'm going to keep, and then I need to start being quite brutal with black denim. <laughs> oh, these are my skinny River Island ones. I've had these for years. Maybe like four years, three, four years. I really like these, but I'm not going to keep them because I've got a pair of skinny jeans that I prefer now. And I think you only need one pair of black skinnies. Because if it's black and it's skin tight, the styling options are going to be really similar. But yeah, these are the River Island ones. I have worn these a lot and they've got like a nice frayed split hem, which is great, but not so great if you're wanting to wear them with boots and things because especially in the winter, you get this little cold triangle. Um, so yeah, these are River Island and I'm not going to keep these. We will get to the black skinny jeans that I am keeping soon. Oh, here we are, here are them. So the ones I'm gonna keep at Everlane, they sent me these, um, but they're just so good because they are so black and so skin tight and they have stretch in them like the River Island ones but they also have a certain texture which makes them feel and look more like denim as opposed to a legging but they fit as tight as leggings and I think that the length is perfect on me they're just the ultimate black skinny jean in my opinion in terms of everything I want styling wise mostly I've been wearing them with like knee high boots or over the knee boots as opposed to I still opt for a straighter leg jean to wear not tucked into a shoe but the fit of these is just so 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 good I really 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 recommend them sizing wise on these I have a size six I think no let's check let's check properly but yeah these are my black skinny jeans of choice to keep just gotta peel them off my body <laughs> they are a oh, size 26 regular but I really 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 recommend them and in terms of skinny jeans I'm still like black skinny jeans are the only ones that I really wear still I feel like I have never gone fully back onto the skinny jean bandwagon these are denim shorts which I'm not going to do now because it's going to be too long um these are some H&M ones which I've also had for years to wear these a lot when I was in Manchester and they've got an insanely frayed hem like crazy and these were some of the first jeans I found which have a similar fit to the weekday voyage which is very like Levi 501's esque but obviously 10 times easier to manage sizing and actually finding them I remember these I got these before the weekday ones and I wore them so much because of the fit of them um, and the frayed hem is like crazily frayed but I haven't worn them in ages, probably because of that frayed hem, it's a bit much now. So these are gonna go, and yeah, I prefer the fit of the weekday ones. These are on the see you later pile. Oh my God, we're doing really well here. Um, these are some Levi's that were sent to me by Redone. Now Redone is so expensive for Levi's, 
and they're basically, as the name suggests, redone Levi's. So they've tapered them, put sizing on them, that makes it easy to find the right one. And I'm pretty sure on their website they categorise them so that you know what kind of fit you're getting. We've only tried on one pair of 501s, but there's more in here and you're gonna see as I go on how different the fit of a vintage 501 can be. So the, they have made it easier to find the right style and fit that you want. However, at a huge premium. They are so expensive. Now, like I said, these were sent to me. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have bought them myself, I have to be honest. Like, I think they're amazing. And if you know, it's such a tricky one. Because in one hand, denim is like, I'd be so advocate going to spend a lot of money on it because you wear it so, so, so much. So if you really wanted a pair of 501s and you were maybe living somewhere where there wasn't loads of vintage shops or something, and you know how much you're gonna wear them, then yes, I recommend them because the quality of a Levi 501 is incredible. Like vintage Levi's jeans, like I just said, it's just so good. So in terms of the quality, the price is well worth it. I only think I have an issue with the price because I know if you root around, you can sometimes find, like some of the ones I've got, I paid 20 pounds for when I lived in Manchester. Like to then pay over 200 pounds is the reason I have an issue with it. But that being said, I understand why they've given them that price tag because they've made something that was so popular and so hard to find very accessible. Um, and you could easily get that amount of wear out of it. I just wouldn't necessarily say you have to spend that much on them. Um, so yeah, these I've been wearing these quite a lot recently. Again, they're a really great length on me. I love the light wash of them. Um, they do put a different thing on the back. It just says read on there, so you get a different sort of logo to it. But all inside is the normal Levi's branding with the button up fly and things. Um, and yeah, they're a great fit on me. So I've been wearing them so much and they're well worth it and everything. I just, for the reasons I've just said, some sort of have an issue with the price tag they've put on these sometimes. But um, I've been wearing them and, you know, promoting them in the same. I, I've been wearing them and then in turn promoting them a lot, but I just wanted to say that bit of a spiel. Um, I do like this sort of like in between skinny but not too skinny style at the moment as well. Another pair for the light wash pile. Lovely. So here we have these are Levi's also. Now these are from their own range called Authorized Vintage which is where they have Levi's as a brand have gone and found vintage jeans in their own archive which is obviously the most extensive <laughs> and basically done what Redone have done Redone have done <laughs> and they sent me these so I can't be sure on the price tag but I am relatively confident they will be nowhere near the price of the Redone ones now they're more like one-off um, I don't think you won't be able to buy this exact pair but there, it's an amazing idea. There was a shop on Carnaby Street, author, authorised vintage Levi's, and I'm not sure if it was a pop-up or not, but I'm gonna find this information and write it in the description box and try to find links online and things. Um, because obviously it was like, the, the, I was so pleased when they told me about it because they were just making the most of what they already have within their archives, which is huge, as opposed to paying a higher premium for another brand doing it. So these um, are a really similar fit to those redone ones. They're just a slightly darker wash. I've worn these absolutely loads. Again, they have the button fly, the normal Levi's branding, the little red tag and things. Um, oh, we've gone out of focus, there we go. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep these as well because I've worn them so much, but I hope that you can see how similar they are in fit to the redone ones. They're just a slightly darker wash. And for me, I can, <laughs> Um, justify keeping them both personally because I know how much I've worn them both um, and this is like a great style and fit with boots but I mostly wanted to tell you about this range that they have if you are struggling in the Levi vintage world which is a minefield uh, what have we got here more Levi's which ones are these which ones are these oh these are so nasty gal for a while did really great 501s for like 25 quid as well they sold out so 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 fast and i remember buying two pairs in the exact same size and these ones fit perfectly and the other pair were like three sizes too big so again they hadn't really negated the issue of sizing in the world of vintage 501s but these are them they're kind of a little bit big now it's got something in the pocket oh no I haven't yeah they're kind of a bit big like around here 
but I still wear these a lot. Um, I will see if Nasty Gals still do them. They were just one of those really good finds that I think Sophia Rosemary, um, who has an amazing blog, she's based in Manchester, I think she told me about them. Um, and they sold out really, really, really quickly as well. But yeah, these I still do wear a lot and they're a slightly looser fit to the other two 501 style that we tried on. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna keep these two. I hope you guys don't think this is ridiculous. I really do um, wear like all of these jeans quite a bit. Mid wash or light? Let's go light because that pile's looking a bit lacking. Um, oh my God, there's a bit of thread and I thought it was a spider. Whew, small heart attack. I want to stick on Levi's for a bit longer so we can remember them all really well. Um, Levi, 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 where are you all? These are another pair, I think I bought these in Manchester. Oh, these are 550, these ones. Often, oh, I've been saying 501 the whole time and they might be 552. These are a much lighter wash and I cut the bottoms off them. And they've got zip fly and a really different style fit. And I have to say, I haven't worn them in ages, so I'm actually gonna part with these ones. Um, I love the lightness of the wash, but I just think the bagginess is no longer that suited to my style at the moment. And I much prefer the other ones that we've just been trying on. So these can go, I'm sure I got these in Manchester, um, who, which is like some of the best vintage shopping in Manchester. These, one of my favourite pair of Levi's. Now these are huge. I think I got these off eBay, which due to the sizing I wouldn't necessarily recommend. But these are like my mega big Levi's. And they're a really specific styling opportunity for me. A, in that they're so long. They just look so good with heels and stuff. And as you can see, they are massive. I do wear these around the house quite a bit, but like you could fit me in here twice. But with a belt, they just look, it gives you this like weird bunched up look. And I love it. I love it so much. I've worn these for years. And I always style them with a belt really tight. Um, and like I said, sometimes wear them around the house on my hips and things if I'm just out running errands. But they're just, they're huge. They're, they're sizes and sizes too big for me. And they're probably one of the first vintage Levi's I've ever had. And I will never get rid of these. I love them. This, these with like a white tank top in the summer and a belt and slides. I absolutely love that outfit and wear it every single year. Um, another pair of vintage Levi's. These are definitely got in Manchester. These are one of the best fitting ones I've ever found. I would say they're kind of similar in fit to the light wash ones that I showed you that I bought in Amsterdam the episode. But these are a dark wash one and I specifically remember when I found the weekday voyage jeans in the really indigo wash I just remember thinking this is the first time i found a jean in, that's new that isn't a vintage denim um that almost perfectly replicates the fit of these jeans and at that point i had worn these jeans to death um, and still do wear them all the time i love the fit of them i'll never part with these ever ever they're just so flattering over the bum and everything the length of them is great I love indigo denim, I think it's really good for more evening styling and these look great with all shoes, like again, back to the voyage ones from weekday, all different types of shoes, like trainers, boots, sandals, they just look great with everything and the length of these is perfect, so these are 100% a keep pile, they're quite a dark wash so I might put them in my washed black pile, I think that's it for Levi's. We might find another pair along the way. Oh no, these are the Levi's Wedgie, which are a new style. And they're kind of similar to the Urban Outfitters BDG that I just made the decision to keep, but a bit shorter in the leg. So I'm gonna stick with the Urban Outfitters one in preference of these. But these are known for making your bum look really good. And they're meant to give you a wedgie, like literally sort of goes up in the middle of your bum. So they are really, really, really flattering and I do recommend them, but I think I'm gonna opt for the Urban Outfitters one instead. And they're very, oh, sorry guys, my memory ran out. I know this video is so, so, so long. Um, and oh, do these have a much better fit to them though? Hmm, no, I think I still will stick with Urban Outfitters. I'm finding it easier to have like one washed black, one black skinny, as opposed to like all the mid-wash ones where I'm like, I need five of each shade at least. 
Right, I've got loads of End of the Stories ones coming up. I should have done it in order of brands, really. Let's do End of the Stories now. These are a more mid-wash one, so the End of the Stories one we tried earlier. And I probably, they're shorter, I think. And maybe a bit too short. I feel like the reasoning behind me letting go of the, the BDG mum style ones would be similar to these in that the new weekday ones which I'm going to show you which is the style called Seattle are similar but better and I prefer the first under the stories one that I tried which were a different wash and a slightly looser fit so oh no someone stopped drilling I hope you can't hear that too much oh no this is like a big work site at the bottom of the road um, and the stories, and the stories we have here. Um, oh my gosh, let's do these ones. And you wore these so, so, so much two summers ago. I think they're just called the straight leg jean. And I ranted and ranted and ranted and raved about these, and still do rant and rave about them. They're a really, really, really light wash, and as you can see, slightly wider in the leg. One second, my pocket's all turned in slightly wider in the leg than the ones that I just had on were and um, my god I love these jeans and wore them so so much they're such a good summer jean again really flattering over the bum these remind me of being in LA for some reason I feel like I wore loads there and um, I'll definitely keep these I love the fact they're almost an acid wash the seam has turned slightly in the leg these have been washed quite a few times and worn quite a bit Personally, that doesn't annoy me absolutely loads. I don't mind it when denim looks a bit like that. It does remind me of vintage denim when it's got those imperfections, but something to bear in mind if it would annoy you if you, if you find imperfections like that frustrating, which I get as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep these. These are definitely the lightest pair I've opted to keep. Clearly I am more of a mid-wash denim kind of a gal. <laughs> okay, so. Under the stories, under the stories, that's what I'm after. These are under the stories. I think, I remember when they brought out that style, the ones I just had on, desperately trying to buy the same style in different colours. And for some reason, they had ones that had the same name, but the fit just wasn't the same. And I'm pretty sure this pair is one of them. It just doesn't fit in quite the same way as the ones I've just tried on. And I would say it fits probably too similar to some of the Levi's I've opted to keep um, so I'm going to say goodbye to this pair because I think it is quite similar and the fit just isn't quite as right there was something about that specific light wash pair that was just utter perfection um, I've got some more under the stories ones that I know were like not weird fits but these are ones that were sent to me which were like a bit less traditional in the denim world like these ones which are almost like a flared leg but not long enough for me to wear heels with which is how I'd normally wear flares and a really 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 dark wash they do have quite a, a nice fit to them over the hips and bum but I actually think I've probably only worn these once so I shall part with these ones um, they're a nice thick stiff denim though um, and then these ones as well these I bought I loved them when I got them and I've just not worn them. Black, um, like a really strange fit to them basically. <laughs> really like hippie fit, as in, not as in hippie, as in over the hips. Um, really dark black jeans. I just feel like this is the kind of shape and fit that I would wear in a suit pant that was tailoring but just not as much in denim for some reason. And I see when I'm trying them on now, I do quite like them. But I need to be brief, so I haven't worn them and they are a bit too big and there's like a lot of fabric here and stuff. So I think I'll say bye to these. Well, they're kind of cool, aren't they? In the summer again with shirts. No, 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 no. We haven't worn them in probably a year. These can go. Um, right, we're really nearly getting there now, guys. So, we have here Topshop. These were a complete one-off style that Topshop did. 
and it's the best jeans top shop I've ever done in my opinion and every time I wear them and tag them on Instagram as top shop I get so many comments like oh my gosh which top shop jeans are these so they were just this one-off one that they did I think they called them a straight leg but and I know they've, they've done other styles that they've called the same thing but it's just never been the same and again they kind of have a fit to a similar fit to a vintage Levi which seems like the ultimate goal in buying jeans. Does it fit like that? Or, or at least at the moment for what the trends of denim are. Um, they're a slightly lower rise than some of them. Mid wash, just a really nice leg length. They've got the orange stitching like Levi's have, which I really like. These were the first jeans that I got and I got them probably about 18 months ago now that were this sort of length and I was obsessed with wearing my Celine loafers and it really got me into a longer leg length of denim as opposed to always having my ankles out which was how I'd worn my jeans for years. I feel like my transition with jeans went from always wearing really skinny ones, always always and then into the Axel BDG so something that was slightly more mum style but still quite skinny and cropped and then into baggy Levi's while still struggling to find the perfect pair um, and then something longer like this, but not quite as long as the huge Levi's I tried on. But yeah, I still love to wear long denim, as I'm sure you can tell with this, but these, some of the best jeans I've found on the high street, and I wish Topshop would do them again, so that everybody could go and get them as well, because they really are just such good jeans. All right, we have only a few pairs left now. Weekday again. These are the weekday row. Now, these are in a waist, 2632. These jeans are so good. So, they are incredibly high-waisted and incredibly long-legged. Now, they remind me of the super big Levi's we tried on that I said I liked wearing with a cinched belt. They were similar styling options to that, except they were already tailored to fit really well as opposed to cinching it in with a belt. But they're a really similar wash to that, really long in the leg, really straight legged, and then incredibly tight over the hips. So while I've just gone out and bought a waist 25 in some weekday jeans, 26 in these is perfect for me, 25 would be way too small. Um, and they're incredibly high waisted. I have a really short body, so this is almost like underneath my boobs. Um, but yeah, the fit of them is just so cool, so cool. They've done them in loads of different washes since. These ones I believe are called the Spring Blue. I will link everything in the description box. Um, and I just can't recommend them enough. I wore them more in summer with sandals and heels than I have done in the winter with boots and things. Because it's almost a bit too manly with the boots. Another pair of weekday voyage here, leg 26, sorry, waist 26, leg 30. These are a lighter wash and just don't have the same fit to them for some reason. Why is that? This is like the end of the stories thing with those really light wash straight leg jeans and then the other shades don't fit the same. These light wash ones are just not the same as the other ones and I don't know why. The dark indigo and the mid wash I've just bought are the best in the weekday voyage. I'm gonna say goodbye to these ones. Um, despite how much I've been raving about this denim style, apparently that wash is not for me. Okay, last two. So these are the washed black jeans of choice for me at the moment. They're by Toe 10. I really want to buy these in another wash. I think they do them in like a mid wash and an indigo. Um, they fit incredible. As you can see, a really good long, long leg length. They look great with boots because they sit over the top of your ankle boots. Um, just, oh, I've just undone them. A washed black, really like nice and tight over the hips and bum. Nice and high waisted. The only thing I would say is the fly does come undone relatively often, which is incredibly annoying. It always seems to do it once, like I'll put them on and then five minutes later it'll be undone and do it up again and then it'll be fine for the rest of the day. No rhyme or reason to that, but it's worth noting. Um, but I love, love, love the length, everything. They're kind of skinny, but then just slightly, slightly straighter. They're not like a cigarette leg. I don't know what you call them, drain pipe maybe? But I just like that slightly different styling options as opposed to being skin tight like the Everlane ones. Um, I think these are so flattering. So these are definitely a keeper. Oh my God, guys, we've done so well at this. This is the last pair. And it's quite a 
Oh no, I've got the other weekday ones to show you. But these are a relatively new purchase. I bought these in Paris in um, October from a brand I've never heard of before called System Official. Now, I've never managed to find these on license. The shop was called Tom Greyhound, it's in the Marais. Um, and these just, I've worn these so much because like I said, I lost some weight and so I felt like I had, I had more than I realized, but felt like I only had a few number of jeans that were fitting perfectly and these were one of them. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I really hope that drilling isn't too loud. I'm gonna be really quick because it's just gonna do it all day now. Um, but yeah, they're slightly two-toned, which I really like. Dark at the back, light at the front. A really nice high waist, straight through the leg. Just a really good fit to them. I am realizing I have a lot of jeans of a similar fit and I seem to really know what I like when it comes to denim. So these are on the keep pile. Oh, these piles look so wonderful and organized. And let me just grab the other new pair. Um, they have a belt on them because I was trying them on last night with different outfits and also have the tag on them. Okay, the tag's gonna have to stay because I need scissors. These are the Seattle jean from weekday in a waist 25 leg 30 indigo wash. So like I said, I bought these yesterday and I'm gonna wear them today. They are pretty tight, um, but they just fit so nicely. Oh, pockets, there's nothing worse than when your pockets turn out. The belt is my new um, vintage Chanel one that I got on Vestia. And this is exactly what I'm wearing today, and it's not taking the belt off. But I will remember to take the tag off. I want you to know it's not the first time I've gone out with tags on the clothes. It happens to me a lot. I look like a shoplifter a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, these are, which ones would we say these are similar to? Hmm, probably all of them, you're thinking like Lizzie, the slimmest nearly every pair you've shown us. But they're a really, really, really dark indigo wash. Straight leg, but slightly skinnier than the Voyage ones. Um, nice and tight over the bum and through the hips and everything. And I'm gonna wear these tomorrow, going out tomorrow night. I'm gonna wear them with two strapped heels and like a shirt, really low and buttoned. And they just look so, so, so good. The fit of them I think is a bit smarter. And obviously an indigo wash tends to be a bit smarter than a light wash one for evening wear as well. Um, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna put everything back in the wardrobe now because this was the last pair. Show you the finished product of hopefully blissful organization. And then I'm gonna sit down and have a cup of tea and probably a nap because I feel like I've just talked so much and so quickly. Oh my God, guys. I mean, I'm still bad at folding because, you know, you can lead a horse to water, all that jazz. But look at that. Is it bizarre that this is giving me mild anxiety of thinking, oh my God, I've got rid of too much and now there's nothing. But I think it was because they were scrunched up, obviously it was just taking up so much space. So we've got the dark, and um, wash black, light wash, mid wash. And I feel like going through that, I've really kept ones, I know that's still a lot of denim, but I've kept pairs that I will wear a lot and we all know how much I love denim. And then this, sorry, I'm packing for a trip at the same time as all of this, but this is the see you later pile. I feel like I've done a really good job of this and this is the pile that doesn't belong to me. So <laughs> need to give it back to its rightful owners. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've done a good job of this. I'm on such a roll with this project at the moment. So we're gonna, um, oh, it's snowing. Big, fat, fluffy snow. This is not what I wanted to see. Um, no, oh, stop. Um, yeah, I'm on such a good roll with this. This has made me feel so much better. We've got trousers here, which are high up on my list to get through. But before that, I'm gonna do winter coats. Um, just because obviously they take up a lot of space as well and I know that some of you noticed there was some jackets that were missing from one of the jackets worn and like leather jackets I've not done because they're all in the other room so we're going to do those next but I really hope you enjoyed this one I'm going to try and write as much sizing information as I can in the description box as many links as possible in the description box I know that denim and buying denim often has a lot of questions so leave any in the comments and I will try to get back to you any specific sizing questions any that I would recommend more than the others but I hope overall this has been quite informative and I feel like I am pleasantly surprised at how streamlined um, my opinions are on it basically because as you've just seen I've got a lot of denim but I feel like I really know what I like at the end of it all and yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one